Welcome to the Figure Zone. I got some cool figures for you today and for some quick updates and teasers. It looks like Tila is the next figure in Mondo's MOTU line. And Mars Toys posted a photo of their 1966 Batman series Mad Hatter figure head sculpt. Hopefully he'll be up for pre-order soon. And we have a couple things shipping right now from DID, Otto Skorzny, and Hot Toys, Warriors of Future, Tyler and Johnson. These figures both look pretty freaking cool. We've got Storm Collectibles, Fist of the North Star, Ken Shiro, Executive Replicas, TV League, Coffin Comics, Hell Witch. Prepare your wallets. The pre-orders are coming. Hot Toys exclusive Star Wars Battlefront 2 Umbra Operative Arc Trooper. Shipping any second now. 265 bucks. This is one of my favorite all-time clone trooper looks. And one of my favorite playable characters in the game. And I wanted this thing big time, but Hot Toys decided to screw everyone over and make this limited to only 1,500 pieces worldwide. And by the time the one hour is up and my waitlist to even get into the thing, yeah, it was waitlisted, so... Hot Toys pretty much told us to eat a bag of dicks. So yeah, Hot Toys, I got a message for you. When you make limited figures that everybody wants, they become eBay scalper exclusives. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know how this machine worked. What a bunch of a-holes. <laughs> 0 Chainsaw Man, Aki... Hayakawa, quarter four of 2024 and 149 bucks. He is 11.8 inches tall, over 35 points of articulation. He's got some swappable face plates, and yeah, he's looking pretty cool. Another figure for the line. Pop Toys, the evolution of Europe, blacksmith of the Middle Ages, quarter two to three of 2024 and 240 bucks. This guy looks freaking awesome. He's got a metal leg going on there. He's got an anvil and a pile of blacksmith accessories and tools. So you can pretty much make him look like he's creating some freaking weapons. I say uh, get a Mandalorian helmet on him and stick him next to your Mandalorian armor figure. He can be the helper. That might work or might be really stupid. Easy and simple. 26060RB SSO Special Operations Forces of the Russian Federation Quarter 2 of 2024 and 195 bucks. He's got a freaking ton of weapons and accessories. You could pretty much get this one figure and you'll have enough gear for like five more freaking figures. Who do you guys think this head sculpt is based on? Let me know in the comments below. YM Toys Hunter Series Sophia, quarter four of 2024 and 210 bucks. Now the head sculpt's got the rooted hair and the movable eyes. You've got a YM silicone body with the steel skeleton and some real leather pants. Looking pretty cool. Another cool female fantasy figure. You could definitely tell there's a seamless body down there with not much padding going on there, which is awesome. World Box Burst Knights Bosozoku Yankee Shoujo. I think I said that right. Quarter four of 2024. Now, US sellers have this for like 245. China sellers have this around 205. Now, she is 11.8 inches tall. She's got two different head sculpts that look pretty much totally different with the hair color and like the makeup and stuff like that. And she's got some really cool looking tattoo work going on the body there. So yeah, pretty sweet looking figure. How You Toys HH Model Imperial Legion Persian Heavy Cavalry. Quarter 2 of 2024 and 375 bucks US sellers. And 340 bucks overseas China sellers. Now this thing's got real chain mail as far as I can tell here. A belt spear and sword those are also made of metal along with the helmet with the chain mail on it which is pretty freaking cool and they've also got a persian camel going on there and that thing 
is $254. And it comes with everything in the pictures. So if you're looking for a camel for your Conan figure to punch, here you go. A Toys, Dark Myth Nizha, quarter four of 2024 and 300 bucks for the US sellers and 245 bucks for the China sellers. So you know where to go to get this. 11.8 inches tall. It's got a pile of cool accessories like those motherfucking robot arms that attach to his back. Those look pretty freaking cool. And he also has an LED light up Lotus diorama stand, which looks pretty freaking cool too. I'm digging on the figure. And for my favorite statue of the day, Moss Studio. Honkai Star Rail RPG Kafka. Quarter four of 2024, not sure the price. Now there's a standard version, and there's also a deluxe version that comes with a swap out birthday suit body plus an extra head. This thing's got some crazy freaking detail. I've never played the game before, so if you guys ever played it, let me know. It looks pretty cool. And here's the swap out birthday suit body. So get the deluxe. You're going to get two freaking bodies and two head sculpts. And she gets the Al Bundy seal of approval. Pop Toys, John Wick 2, quarter three of 2024 and $180. What do you guys think of the head sculpt? I don't know. It's pretty much just coming with some extra hands, a pistola, but you do have the real leather shoes that are magnetic for the magnetic stand. SW Toys, Miss Wong 2.0, quarter four of 2024 and 220 bucks. And it's Ada Wong from Resident Evil. Now you get the normal head. You also get an infected head. They both have the movable eyes. Looks like a seamless body. A ton of weapons. Page flip. Accessories. And you get a full coverage sweater as a pre-order bonus. So that's pretty cool if you want the extra outfit pre-order this thing you could pretty much make two out of wongs with two different head sculpts so that's pretty freaking cool you might be saying to yourself wait a minute didn't they just release this figure yep this is the 2.0 now the biggest difference in the versions is this brand new one here has got way 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 more accessories than the first version did look at all those mother freaking accessories that that's a lot of nuts now you also get with this one the view screen sweater and a pre-order bonus is the full cover sweater and with the first version you get the full covered sweater and as a pre-order bonus you get this really cool two-piece outfit which is totally my favorite outfit they've made for her yet so depends on which version you're looking for and you get both make four figures there you go and you can make a sweet Ada Wong army in your display now there's still plenty more to come in this video but if you're finding some cool figures and enjoying the video so far do me a favor hit that thumbs up button so YouTube shares the video with more people if you haven't already hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the action figure news and you can also follow me on Instagram and if you like saving money on action figures use my giant toy store link in the description below they are my go-to trusted overseas seller where I get many of my figures from. And you can also help out the channel by using my Sideshow Collectibles link in the description below. You don't have to buy the figure in a link, but if you purchase a pre-order, helps out big time. If you guys use the link, I'll give you a shout-out in the next video. Thanks so much, everyone who's used it already. You guys are mother friggin' awesome. Playtoy P022 Star Wars Senator Padme Amidala, quarter three of 2024, and she is only 130 bucks. Now, the figure is pretty much just the head, body, two hands, and the outfit. That's got some crazy detail going on there. I like the head sculpt. I think they kind of nailed it. And this is their second Amidala figure. So, if you guys buy this one, maybe they'll make a third one. So, yeah, that's cool. 
Black 8 Studio Toxic White. Quarter 4 of 2024 and 170 bucks. And of course, it's Walter White from Breaking Bad. He's got some cool accessories, and I'm really digging on the head sculpt. I really wish they'd make that little nose patch thing there removable like magnetic because I don't want to display it with that. It just like ruins the head sculpt a little bit. But yeah, look at that detail and look at this mother freaking neck. That's crazy. Present Toys SP85 Motor Sickle Clothing and Body Set. Quarter 2 of 2024 and 90 bucks. And of course it's Bruce Wayne from The Batman. Now you're pretty much just getting this body right here, which is like the basic body. Some hands going on there. And all the clothing with the boots. But unfortunately, you don't get a head sculpt. So you'll have to supply that yourself. But if you want to make a kit bash custom, hey, you got some clothing going on here. And present toys with another future warrior. Quarter four of 2024 and 210 bucks. And of course, it's Arnold from the Terminator. You got two head sculpts. There's a pre-order bonus head sculpt that's all super battle damaged, but they don't show any other photos besides that one. Uh, it's cool, I guess. I mean, I like to see more photos of that. The head sculpts look really freaking nice. I love the robotic pieces coming out there. I'm not sure if there's any kind of LED light up thing in there. It doesn't mention any kind of feature or anything like that. So, yeah, but I'm digging on it. And this thing has a real leather jacket this time around so if you want that leather jacket there you go and yes they have made a couple future warriors already and they're probably gonna make a couple more so yeah give us some more characters too hot toys pirates of the caribbean Dead Men Tell No Tales, Captain Jack Sparrow, quarter one of 2025. Now there's a collector's edition for 290 bucks, a deluxe version for 330 bucks, and an exclusive artisan version for 495 bucks. This guy's 11.8 inches tall. I don't know, he should be a little bigger. What do you guys think? Now the standard has the head with the movable eyes. You have rooted hair, but sculpted dreadlocks. There's also an LED light up lantern. Leather boots, leather belts, a ton of accessory, and a ship steering wheel diorama. Deluxe is pretty much the same figure, but it comes with the wheel with real ropes, an opening treasure chest, and a water-themed diorama base. Then there's the artisan version. That's got sculpted hair and sculpted dreadlocks, and pretty much includes everything that the deluxe figure has. The artisan version has been waitlisted already. Went on waitlist pretty much like the first two minutes, I'm sure. But if you don't mind some sculpted dreadlocks, I can't tell the freaking difference myself. I mean, yeah, they're doing such a great job in the hair. You can't tell the sculpted parts and the plastic parts. Just go with the standard version if you just want like a figure on display. But if you want like a cool display diorama with the wheel... You go with the deluxe version for a couple bucks more, but yeah, this figure looks crazy awesome. Also in the description below, I've got a bunch of links down there. One from my Facebook group. Join up, a lot of cool people, a lot of collection figures. And let me know your thoughts on these figures in the comments below. Who are you gonna get? Who are you gonna pass on? Who do you want these companies to make next? And if you want to see some more action figure awesomeness, check out that video to the left. It'll play the right. Thanks so much for watching. Till next video.